So Joe Rogan's favorite sunglasses are Roka. Are they any good? Hey everyone, I'm Dave with Beast Made Reviews. Of course, a channel dedicated to reviewing quality at different price points. Now, I'm always on the hunt for new products, new things that really excite me. And when I heard that Joe Rogan really loves Roka, that really got my attention because I hadn't tried anything from Roka yet. And if you listen to his podcast, especially on Spotify, where he has a lot of his ad reads, then he talks about Roka constantly. <laughs> he loves them. So I was tired of hearing about it and I had to find out for myself. But before we do that, if you like this type of content, why don't you consider subscribing down below? I think you'll really like it here. If you like sunglasses content, if you like Joe Rogan, do it for Joe Rogan. <laughs> and if you're interested in any of these products, I'll have links down below. You can go and check them out there. They are affiliate links and anything you buy through that does help out the channel. It helps me do content just like this. And I always appreciate it when you do that. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get to Roka. Now Roka is headquartered in Austin, Texas, and they actually make their sunglasses in Austin, Texas as well. So we're dealing with an American made product here, which I think is phenomenal. If you look on their website, their brand seems to have a lot of athletes and athletic kind of focus on there, but they have a really wide range of products. They have obviously athletic design sunglasses specifically for athletes and different sports, but they have a whole range of casual options as well. They even have eyeglasses, they have prescription sunglasses. So if you need prescription sunglasses or eyeglasses, they have you covered there. So they graciously sent me two pairs and we'll talk about two pairs here. And I know it's not an extensive review of their entire line, but we'll review these two pairs. And I think it's a good snapshot of what they have. At least we get to see how the quality is between these two pairs and see what they're like. And if this video does well and you really like it, maybe we can do a deep dive into Roka at a later date. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get to the first pair here, and that is the Falcon Titanium. And I think you know where I'm going with this one. This one is the Squared Off Aviators, my bread and butter. Now, if you've watched my other videos, then you know that I really love Squared Off Aviators. So these Falcons were a must have for me. I had to try these out. And I have to say, these are fantastic sunglasses. The frames are made of titanium, as the name suggests. They're silver, and the color is in a glacier mirror. Now for some of the dimensions here, they are 139 millimeters wide with a 17 millimeter bridge. They're 140 millimeters long for temple length. They have a six base curve for the lenses and they are 55 millimeters wide by 45 millimeters tall. These are very, very light frames, so much so that they almost feel like they're not even there. And they're also corrosion resistant, so no matter how hard you sweat in them, they're not going to rust. The lenses are a C3 nylon lens and they are very, very light but they're also exceptionally clear as well. I found that these were very clear when looking through them. I didn't find that there was much to any distortion at all compared to maybe other nylon lenses. They're impact resistant, anti-scratch, anti-fog, have an anti-reflective coating, and they're oleophobic and hydrophobic as well. Now the color on these lenses are in Glacier Mirror and these have an 11% light transmission. These are pretty neutral and they offer four colors for lenses. Now I love the look of these. I think they look fantastic. They look just as good as any other squared off aviator that I've tried before. I really like the Glacier Mirror on these. I find that people tend to stare at their own reflection in them as they're looking at you. <laughs> so it makes it look like they're staring deep in your eyes, which I think is kind of funny. And for the temples, they have what they call their gecko technology, which apparently is inspired by the grippy feet of a gecko. The bridge pads also have this on there as well. And these have hydrophilic and chemical resistant properties as well. And they say that it supports multi-directional traction. Now, all this kind of sounds like mumbo jumbo, but in the end, I find that these really stick. They really stick to your head. They really do exactly what they say. I thought this would be more or less a gimmick from Roka, but it's not. They actually work really well, surprisingly well. I wore these on a recent trip with the family, rode some of the rides, and they did not move. They did a great job. The packaging on this is also very good. Comes with a really nice box with a magnetic clasp. You open it up and you see your sunglasses in the hard shell case. It just has a very sleek, very modern, and very satisfying appearance to this packaging, which I think is really cool. Packaging isn't everything, but it is something, and I love the packaging here. The case is great. It's an asymmetrical design, hard shell with a magnetic closure, sits flat, holds everything tightly. It's fantastic. And they also include another pair of bridge pads that are a slightly different size if you want a different fit on the bridge, and they include a soft bag as well. 
One thing I love about these in particular is that because these stay put, these are great for an outdoor or athletic purpose. One of my main gripes with some other brands that I've used is that they're just slick on the temples and I've had some fall off before, but not with Roka. I've put them to the test and they really will stay put. They look fantastic. These are ultra lightweight. They look great looking through them. Overall, I have no complaints with the Falcon by Roka. These are absolutely fantastic sunglasses. Definitely check these out. Next, we'll go with a different style of frame here, and this one is the Cade 2.0. Very casual option. This K2.0 is very different from a style that I would normally get, which is exactly what I wanted here. These Cades really remind me of maybe a Wayfarer design, but kind of squished. They're a little bit more low profile, and so if you're looking for maybe smaller size sunglasses, I think these are a great option here. The color that I got here is in matte black for the frames and dark carbon polarized lenses. Now, some of the specs here, these are 140 millimeters wide, they have a 19 millimeter bridge, they're 140 millimeters long, and the lenses are 52 millimeters wide by 38 millimeters tall with a four base curve. Now these are definitely on the smaller side of lenses. And I'll have to say that on me, I think these definitely look a little bit more out of place than maybe other styles that I'm used to. That's not a bad thing, it's just subjective taste here. In this case, I find that they're just a little bit too short for my longer face. But I decided to give these to my friend Barry. Now I gave these to Barry knowing that he needed some sunglasses. He's a good friend of mine, great drummer, and he loves these. I love that these kind of have almost a Blues Brothers type of feel to these. And I think this is one reason why I really think these worked well with my friend Barry. And he can also testify that these sunglasses really stick to your head. He wore them while he was paragliding and he loved them. They do not move. They're his favorite pair of sunglasses. Now these Cades have some of the features that were on the Falcon, like the gecko grips on the temples there. These also come with three different bridge pads, so you can get a little bit better fit. They have kind of a small, medium, and large. The large stick out a little bit more, and when they do that, they'll sit a little bit higher on your nose. Though for me, I didn't change the nose pads out for my review. Now, even though I don't think these really match my face shape, I still think these are absolutely fantastic sunglasses. I love the matte black on these. The matte black is perfectly matte, great black, and looking through them, they're very clear as well. They have a great nylon lens, they're very light, and again, these do not move. They have a more rubberized pad on the nose on the bridge, and these gecko pads on the temples are fantastic. These also have spring hinges. They have all the advanced lens coatings as before. They're very lightweight and a little bit flexible. And one interesting feature about these is that they have a bendable steel core on the legs. So the legs can actually bend down like a knee joint. Now I actually did not know that these sunglasses had this feature, but I do think that's really cool, especially if they don't fit on your head exactly right, you can tailor it to your head shape. These are fantastic sunglasses. And if you need something that is lower profile, these are excellent. I love the color. I love the lenses. I love almost everything about these sunglasses. These Cades come in a lot of different colors for the frame and the lenses. So this obviously is one of their more popular models. So final thoughts, what do I think of the Roka line? Now, even though I've only tried these two sunglasses, I was really impressed by the quality, by the features, and by the usefulness of these sunglasses. I thought these were really well made. Using them, looking through them was great. They were very lightweight. They stayed on your head, which was a great feature. They looked great while you're wearing them. It also has a great hard shell case, great bag, and some additional nose pads that help you kind of tailor it to your head. They have a ton of different sunglasses in a ton of different colors. They have prescription sunglasses. They have eyeglasses. They have reading glasses, even blue light glasses. It seems like they have a pair of glasses for almost everyone. Compared to other sunglasses that I've tried, these are not the most expensive. These are kind of at the high point of the medium range, I would say, for really good sunglasses. And priced as such, I think it's a really fair deal. These are made in America, made really well. They look great while looking through them. They look great while on your face, and they will not move. Overall, I am really impressed by Roka. Fantastic. Definitely go check out Roka. Joe Rogan, you are right. They're great. Thank you so much for watching. That is all I have. What do you think of Roka? Do you like them? Let me know. And don't forget to check out the links down below if you're interested in any of these. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with Beast Made Reviews. Bye.